Hello, welcome to beautiful Capistrano Beach. I'm going to be leading you through a short energetic um, yoga flow. You can do this any time in the day. I love to do it in the morning. So feel free to do it more than once if you want to you know, get things going a little bit more or um, just a nice way to jumpstart your day. We're going to start in a child's pose. So you're going to put the big toes together, knees, mat distance apart. Sit your weight back into the hips, reach your fingertips forward, relax the forehead on the mat. And just begin to take the awareness to the breath. With each exhale, letting the body soften. Slow, even breaths in and out through the nose. Last two. Next inhale, coming up to a tabletop position. Lining your wrist under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Let the head relax. Just sway side to side. And coming to neutral, doing a cat-cow flow. So inhale to lift the heart forward, let the belly drop. Exhale, press the weight into the palms, round the upper back, and the belly pulls towards the spine. Moving with the breath, inhale, and exhale. So your spine's gonna mimic that beautiful ocean sound we hear in the background. Inhale, exhale. Two more. And then coming to neutral, tuck the toes, let the hips go high to the sky in your downward facing dog. Want to focus on lengthening through the spine here. And then just bend one knee after the other, waking up the hamstrings making sure the weight is even in all 10 fingers, maybe slightly more in the thumb and the index finger. Let the shoulder blades be soft down the back and pause in neutral. We're gonna bend both knees, look between the palms, slowly walk yourself up to the top of the mat to a forward fold. Grab the elbows, let your body sway softly side to side. And feel free to keep the knees bent as much as you like here. And pause in neutral, head is relaxed and soft. Release the palms to the mat. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. And reaching arms overhead. Energize down through the feet, reach up through the fingertips, shoulders soft. Tadasana, mountain pose. One energizing breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, hands comes to heart center. Beginning our sun salute series. You're gonna inhale up overhead. Exhale, leading with the heart, hinging at the hips, coming to a forward fold. Then half lift, flat back, lift the heart, stretch through the crown of the head. Exhale to fold. Soft bend in the knees, takes you all the way up. Exhale, closing it out. That felt good, let's do that one more time. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, press through the feet, engage the core, lifting that energy overhead and closing it out into heart center. We're going to add on this time. So inhale to lift. Exhale, folding forward. 
Inhale, half lift. This time, plant the palms. Step back to a plank pose, like a top of a push-up. Lining your wrist under your shoulders. Belly engages towards the spine once again. Knees come down to the mat, untuck the toes. Elbows bend into the rib cage. Belly flat, lifting the chest, shoulders roll up and back into your cobra pose. Elbows tight. And just a little baby back bend here. Keep pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, engaging the core. Exhale, release all the way down. Tuck the toes, press back up to your tabletop. And meeting in downward facing dog. Pause here, cleansing breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, step between your palms. Drop the back knee and the foot. Engage the belly, slowly rise up. Nice, energized through the spine. Extend the arms overhead, soft through the shoulders. And breathe. And then release the palms by the foot. Tuck the back toes and knee in your downward facing dog. Same thing on the other side. Lift the left heel, just hip height. Press the heel away long through the spine. Exhale, bend the knee, step it between the palms. Drop the back knee. Guide yourself up, nice and slow and safe, and extend. Release back down, tuck the toes, and come back to your down dog. Let's have a little energy flow here with the core. So inhale forward to plank. You can drop to the knees if you like. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, plank. Engage the low belly. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Pause here. Inhale the right heel to the sky once again. Exhale, step between the palms. Back heel spins flat. And you fix your shirt. <laughs> so you really want to make sure your hips are square towards the front of the mat here. Keep the hips tucked under, long through the spine, and reach. A little energetic flow here. Lift the back heel. Exhale, bend, little back bend. Inhale, reach. Exhale, receive, soft through the shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Then pause in neutral. Now we're gonna rotate our hips open to a warrior two shape. So my right knee is over my right toes, my upper body's like a T, shoulders are soft. I'm really pressing the edge of my left foot into the mat. My gaze is soft over my front fingers. You don't have to have a very wide stride here. You could come to a shorter stance. Just want to make sure your knee is directly over the ankle. So a shorter stance would be like this. It's a great warrior too. And a little flow here. Oh, inhale, drop the back foot, reach overhead, or the back palm, rather. Open up that right side body. And exhale, right elbow comes to the thigh, left arm reaches overhead, the biceps right by the, el uh, the ear, and I'm spinning my heart and chest open. Engaging the core, inhale, lift. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach that energy. One more time. Inhale, reverse. Virabhadrasana two. 
Exhale, pausing here. Finding that balance of strength and softness. Both toes come towards the front, hands on the hips, shoulders roll up and back. And this, let's do a little forward fold here. So hinge at the hips, flat back. You can't keep your back flat anymore. Round the shoulders and let everything soften. Remember, it's not about how far you go. And if you need to keep the knees bent, that's awesome. Just one more breath here. And take the palms back to the hips, firm through the belly, rise back up. And let's do that same thing on the other side. So turn to the other side of the room. Come to that warrior one shape. So the back heel is flat, hips square, and lengthen. Really extend through the rib cage, soft through the shoulders. Then lift onto the back heel. Exhale, open the elbows, lift that heart, and breathe. Inhale, reach. Exhale, receive. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Pause in neutral. And making the hips open to your warrior two. Lining your front heel up with the back arch. My back foot is flat against the edge of the back mat. And breathe. We pressing into the feet nice and strong. Always checking in with that constant breath that never leaves us. Drop the back arm, flip the palm, reverse warrior two. And exhale, elbow to the thigh, arm reaches up overhead. Engage through the feet and the belly. Inhale, lift, reverse. Exhale, extended warrior two. One more time. And exhale. This time, take your gaze to the mat. Release the palms around the foot. Step back to your plank pose. Let's do one more push up. Elbows in towards the body. But bend your knees if you want. Go halfway down. Chest flat. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, release. You made it. Tuck the toes. And press back to your child's pose, just like the beginning. And this time, let's take our palms back by our heels and offer a couple final breaths here. Take your palms back overhead. Guide yourself up to seated. Let's close out our time today. Let's check in with yourself. Notice how that felt. Notice how your breath feels. Inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, kindness and gratitude towards yourself and others.